Hi, good evening. Welcome to vlog number 87. Oh my god. Although it kind of feels like vlog number one because of the order that we're going to now do things in terms of getting back to the real start of creating your business. What I also thought I was going to do is I'm really going to try and keep these vlogs quite short. I feel as if I kind of ramble a lot and there's probably a lot of content that could be used for, for another vlog. So, really quickly. You are in the process of considering setting up a business, quitting your day job, you don't know what to do, so what do you have? What you have is an idea, right? The idea is not the most important part of your business. And I know a lot of people will disagree with that, right? But there's such a, a rush just now to be like the next Snapchat or the next WhatsApp or you know the next Uber the next thing that nobody thought of That's fantastic if you have an idea that say you know you got in the shower one morning and it's going to revolutionize the world That's brilliant good for you Everybody has them right Every single person in the world has had an idea that they've thought oh that could make a, new, a good business or oh, I should do that The difference comes when you take action on it so yes, your idea is important, but it doesn't have to be something that's not been invented yet. I started my business in lettings. Lettings had been invented. I didn't come up with a new way to do it. I didn't come up with an app. I didn't do anything like that. I just took a tried and tested model and I put my own spin on it. For example, my focus was really the customer service aspect and you know trying to get the, the niche market right and everything like that. So if you don't have an idea, but you want to start a business, that's better than starting a business, it doesn't make any sense, does it? Hang on. If you've got an idea, aye, sorry. If you don't have an idea, but you want to start a business, that's better than having an idea and not wanting to start a business. Is that right? I'm not gonna say it again. You know what I mean, right? So don't worry if you haven't got the next Facebook in your brain. You don't have to be Mark Zuckerberg, right? But if you're committed to changing your life and you're committed to doing something, that's the first step, right? The first step is the willingness to take the risk and to take action. So out of that, what you need to then do is find the idea or find the market that you want to be in. And that's an analysis about what you enjoy doing. You know, people say follow your passion. Genuinely, some people don't really know what their passions are. Some people don't really have any passions. Some people are so entrenched in the rut of just getting up, going to work, paying the bills, coming home, going to sleep, you know? That they forgot what they love. And also, some people don't want to make a business out of their passions. You know, some people really like fishing. It doesn't mean they want to fish every single day of their life or own a bait shop, you know? but. Yes, it's good to have a passion, but sometimes you want that passion to just be a hobby. So you don't have to follow your passion, but just think about what you want to do. What's your skill? Instead of the idea, look for what you're, instead of the idea of what you could do, look at what you're already good at. I love dealing with people. I, I love it. I love talking, ten of day, but I love talking to people. I love meetings. A lot of people hate meetings. I love hearing people's ideas. I love connecting people with other people and trying to help. And I genuinely, genuinely love meeting new people. That's probably a skill. I don't realize it's a skill because I enjoy it so much. You've got something like that. It doesn't have to be on my skill as audio typing, right? Or my skill as accountancy. It can just be something that you enjoy. So your skill could be you absolutely love films like not just you enjoy going to the movies but you you can look at a film and the cinematography and you look at the story arc and you know all that kind of stuff well there's a there's a business around that somewhere so think about what you're good at think about what your skill is that will morph itself into what you could possibly do and if you're one of the lucky people that does have an idea that's going to change the world right just remember that without putting the correct action into place the idea is completely fucking worthless, right? Nobody is going to walk in and give you a check for a million pound and go, do you know how that idea you had that's, that's in your head? Best idea ever, here's a million pound. You need to get that idea out of your head. Now that raises a lot of issues because getting the idea out of your head 
can be fraught with difficulties if you tell the wrong people or somebody tries to steal your idea, right? As a general rule of thumb, if you have put enough vision, enough passion, enough energy, enough work into this project and got it to the stage where it's essentially yours, it's very hard for somebody to steal it. If you just wake up one morning and decide that you're going to reinvent the wheel and you tell the next person you see, it's very easy for them to steal it. So there's definitely a middle ground between here and here, along which it becomes safer and safer to tell people your idea. But one thing not to do, don't ever walk into an investment pitch and ask people to sign a non-disclosure agreement before you ask them for money. For God's sake, these people who you're going to for money or you're telling your idea to, they, they have ideas of their own. So just because you've got an idea doesn't make you the next Einstein, right? And just because you don't have an idea doesn't mean you can't set up a business. And literally that's under six minutes. Done it. Okay, look forward to tomorrow. We're going to talk about assessing the risk of um, now that you've got your idea or your passion or you've picked your skill, what's the risks in following it and how can you mitigate some of those um, to set you on your path for quitting your job, which we'll probably do at some point this week. Okay, have a great night guys. Happy Saturday. Bye.